So I'm making this uh, video kind of out of boredom, but I'm stuck here during the uh, COVID-19 shelter in place order. Been sitting at home watching a lot of dirt every day and um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. If you are, uh, let me know, leave it in the comments. Um, but they are all about lockers and uh, eating true tracks, air lockers, e-lockers, all that stuff. I've been watching a lot of their rock crawling stuff. And these trucks, the the third gen 5.9 Cummins trucks, as far as I know, they all came with an 11 and a half AAM American Axle Manufacturers um, anti-spin differential, which is a Torsen type. It's very similar, if not a rebranded um, Eaton True Track. I was a little bit confused uh, about how they work, and then I watched a video, um, which is a really informative video on you know how the Torsen rear end works. I'm going to leave a comment on that uh, or a uh, link in the uh, comments section. Um, but anyway, it's uh, basically the Torsen can allow slip, uh, like if you're going around a corner, it can allow slip that comes from the tires, but it will not allow slip that comes uh, from power applied to the drive shaft is kind of the, the um, short version of how it works. A lot of people run into problems with these kind of differentials when you get them up into um, a situation where you have one tire off the ground. Um, these differentials do need a little bit of resistance typically to activate and that can be accomplished with the parking brake so i'm going to show you guys how that works here so we'll fire up the truck here i already have the truck um the passenger side tire is jacked up off the ground um so when we go into drive here i'll pop the parking brake off you'll see it start to spin so we're spinning there give it some more gas, it just spins faster. Now if I take the e-brake, the parking brake, set that forward, One thing I did notice when I came out here, this is about the fourth or fifth time I've done this. Uh, the first couple times it didn't seem like it wanted to work. And my truck has um, over 300,000 miles on it. So I don't know if it just, the, you know, the torsen gears in there uh, needed some exercise or what, but after about the third time, it didn't take much resistance to get it to work. All right, hopefully you liked this video, found it informative. If you did, please uh, give me a, a like, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button notify button, all that good stuff. Uh, you see on that last one, I drove it right off the jack. I kind of scared myself, but I had a good time making the video and uh, hopefully you found it useful. And uh, thank you for watching.